What's up guys, Mike the Coder here. Today we are going to give some advice to competitive programming advice because I didn't really have time today or the last week in order to do some spaj. I'm sorry, I just didn't because of midterms, all this stuff and homework, I just didn't have time. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give some tips in competitive programming, so what helped me. So this was like a contest a while back um, I think it was a few weeks ago. This is the first time where I actually solved three problems. So I solved three problems. And um, actually the first half of the contest, I think I solved the first one in 10 minutes and the second one I was just super stuck. So I was doing this problem and I did solve the first one in 10 minutes, but the second one I just couldn't figure it out. For whatever reason, I kept getting wrong answers, wrong answer TLE and then a runtime error, right? So I, for whatever reason, I just couldn't figure out the problem. So what really helps me the most in doing these contests is that you don't want to look at the standings and what i mean by that is that let's say you can't figure out this problem gcd length right and then you're gonna like be like okay how many how many other people solve this problem am i behind am i not so if you go go to standings you're gonna realize oh damn someone solved this problem in eight minutes right the top person solves it in eight minutes so that's just self-defeating you Right, your job at this moment is to try to solve the first problem or the second problem, right? You right now nothing else exists in the world besides you and the problem, right? So, looking at the standings is not going to help you, right? How what are you gonna do when you realize someone solved this earlier than you, right? That just demo demotivates yourself. It demotivates yourself and it demotivates you when you're trying to solve the problem. So what I did during this contest is when I couldn't solve the problem, what I did was I just kept looking back at it, kept reading the problem again and tried coming up with different test cases myself on pen and paper. Because if you look at the standings while you're doing the problem, that demotivates you and then you end up not being able to solve the problem. So what I did was during this contest, I did not look at the standings at all. I didn't see what ranking I was. I didn't see anything. All that mattered for me was me and the problem. And in the, in the end, I was actually able to get this problem a seed even after getting wrong answer in TLE and runtime error. So I was able to figure out the problem by just trying my best. So you have to try your best. When you're doing these problems, don't look at the standings. Don't even think about other people and what your rank is, what, what, what you are compared to other people because that doesn't help you. What really helps you is you trying to solve the problem. If you could solve the problems while you're doing them, then you're going to be good. Okay, if, you're, if you solve these problems very fast, definitely if you solve them very fast, you're going to be like, oh, wow, this is amazing. But when you're having trouble to solve them, don't look at the standings. Looking at what other people can solve doesn't help you. It makes you more like anxious, and then you realize, dang, I couldn't solve this problem, and then it's just a self-defeating prophecy. So don't look at the standings. Never look at the standings when you're doing problems. Just try to solve the, each problem by yourself, and sooner or later, you're going to end up being able to solve three problems. So I was able to solve three problems. So yeah, this is uh, this is some advice I have for you guys. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.